Out of the more than 4,800 colleges in the United States, nearly all of them have a drama club or a theater department. There are places for young and aspiring actors and actresses to put their talents to the test. Places for them to learn new skills and perfect the ones they already have. Cloud County Community Colleges is the later of the two, but it is still all of this, and the theater has much more to offer for any and all who wish to participate. I recently met with Stephanie Cheddar, director of the theater department, to learn what else was offered. So uh, if, if you could um, elaborate on what it, exactly it is the uh, club has to offer, like what the students can do, what basically all that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So in particular, the club is really mostly focused on theater, right, and production of it. So it includes the actual plays that we do. So this year we're doing three plays. Um and the people that are involved in, in, in the club, in drama club, are the people who are in the plays in any capacity. So there's a lot of different roles within that besides acting, right? People immediately think, oh, acting, that's all that theater is, and that's not what I want to do. But there's so much beyond that. There's, if you're interested in painting, if you're interested in any sort of artistic uh sort of painting or building or constructing. We have people who construct the set. We have people who paint. We have people who make curtains and costumes and do makeup and hair. And then there's technical aspects, other technical aspects as well, such as um, lights and sound and uh, uh, stage management, which involves honestly just organization and putting things together um and then there's a even within that there's shopping involved weirdly enough like because we have to go to thrift stores to find the things that we need because we don't want to spend a lot of money that kind of stuff so that's uh, basically drama club is those who are involved in theater and whatever aspects of theater they want to be involved with and and that ranges from to just about anything else. Okay. Um. During the interview, Miss Chatter said there was three plays for this semester. One, Arsenic and Old Ladies, which is going on this upcoming weekend. A Charlie Brown Christmas special. And a Seuss School, which is a collaboration of most of the Dr. Seuss books. She also said where someone, if they were interested, could sign up for those plays and how to go about doing that. They are, the first one coming up is actually this week. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7 o'clock. It's Arsenic and Old Lace. I'm getting ready to see. <laughs> Thank you. Which is about two old ladies who kill people. Um, it's a comedy. It may not sound like that based on that. So that, it's a good, it's sort of like way before Halloween. It's a good, nice thing. Um, then before Christmas, we have Charlie Brown Christmas, which is just like the TV special that you know just about everyone watches every year. Um, and that will be at the Brown Grand on December 10th, 11th, and 12th. And then finally, in the spring, we have Seussical, the musical, <laughs> um, which is this. It is the story of Dr. Seuss. It's basically Horton Hears a Who with a little bit more mixed in. If somebody were to want to sign up for the plays, um, where would they go to do that? They would come talk to me. Um, I actually keep a list of everyone who is interested, and I have their numbers and what they're interested in doing and their email. And that way, when I need them, I can call on them. Because sometimes, right, I go... If it's, for example, it's technical help, I don't need them right at the beginning of the play because there's nothing to do at that point, right? When we start working on costumes, then, for example, if they're interested in that, I will call them in and ask for them to help. So they talk to me at any time, really. I'm around all the time. <laughs> right. They could even email me. Okay. <laughs> 